Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Leonice here, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you all my March favorites, and I have, <coughs> oh, excuse me, Jesus. I have four, five, six favorites, and then I have two and misses for me. Yeah, so I'm gonna share this with you all today. But make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. And let's get into the video. So, y'all, it was I don't know what. You know how like, so I'm really terrified of spiders, y'all. So anytime like a piece of hair gets on me, I always feel like it's a spider web. So now I'm looking to be like to make sure it wasn't a spider that was on this chair behind me. But all right. So I'm gonna start with a dislike, and it would have to be, actually both of my dislikes are foundations, but this month, but the first one is the Sephora Wonderful Cushion Foundation. And I, the only reason I dislike this foundation is because this shade, which is bronze, is the darkest shade that they have. And even though it's the darkest shade they have, it was like, two shades too light for me, which is trash, right? Because I'm not even that dark. So for this to be the darkest shade they have, like I was disappointed. And hopefully at some point they will expand their color range. But this foundation itself was pretty good. Like I really liked the coverage I got from it. I liked the way it felt applying. It was easy to blend out. And it also came with this little sponge to blend it out. So I really like that about this foundation. and. At some point, I'm going to try to find another cushion foundation in a shade that does match my skin tone. But until then, I'm just going to be stuck without one. Okay, let's go to my first like. This is just a simple one. It is the Black Radiance Lipstick. And this shade is 5014. I'm actually going to use this in a future uh, Get Ready With Me video that I actually have already recorded but it won't be up until like a few weeks from now but I really like this um, formula it was actually very very smooth on and it lasted for a long time like even after I drank it had barely faded I drank and ate yes <laughs> I had to make sure I used the right uh, tense of that uh, word there um, so after I ate and drank it was still on my lips and it had faded just a little bit and all I do was just reapply it and yeah so I really really like this lipstick and it's super cheap like I think it may have been three dollars if not a dollar I don't remember but it was less than five dollars so but I think it was three was it a dollar I don't remember y'all so don't give me the line but I have the price down in the drop down below uh, the next product that I really liked this month was the True Complexion Contour Palette by, by Black Radiance. This palette is one of the first um, palettes I've been able to find with a shade dark enough for me to contour with, which I actually use today to contour my face. And the highlighter in it is really, really pretty, and I also use that. And I use this palette in a recent try-on haul and where you can see my first impression, but this palette, I have been using it quite a bit since I got it and since that try on haul, and I'm a huge fan of it. And they also have um, two more shades for this palette, but I'm not sure what they are. I know one is light, and then the other one, I don't know, it's probably like darker than this one. So try this out if you haven't yet, and if you are a uh, brown girl like me, a melanin infused woman. Try it out and you'll love this little contour palette. The next products I have are, I have three of them here. And I love these little lipsticks. They're like lip whips kind of. And they are from the brand, okay y'all. My hands are so small that I always struggle holding stuff up like this. Um, they're from the brand Ruby Lips Cosmetics. It's actually a black owned company. And I have one of the shades on now. And to be honest, I cannot tell you what the shade name is because it is not on the little uh, cute little container they, they come in, which kind of sucks. But I tried it on the website and see what the shade name is, but I couldn't figure it out for the one that I have on. But as you can see, it comes in this cute little, um, I don't even know what to call this. It's kind of like a, makes me think of like an old school oil can. But the top of it is, um, a lip brush 
and just take it out like that and then you open it up and then you have your lipstick here on the inside and like I said it's kind of like a lip whip like a cream it's very creamy and super duper pigmented and it also dries um, it dries matte but as you can see it's such a pretty pretty color it's kind of like a cranberry metallic and let me swatch the other two for you guys. This next color is kind of like a bronzy gold shade and I actually used this, wore this in a video I did a few weeks ago. I don't know what, the, cannot remember what the video was but I do remember having this lipstick on. As you can see this is also very pretty. And the last shade is like this purple shimmer. I've actually never worn this one. I think this one is called Horizon. From looking at the website, that's the closest shade that I saw to this. And let me get my camera. And there you have it. So this is the Black Radiant shade and these three are the Ruby Lip shades. And as you can see, they're all very, very pretty. This Horizon one is kind of like a holographic shade. Like it kind of has like a holographic glitter to it. Maybe more like a duochrome. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what it is, but very pretty and I actually will need to wear this one soon because I really like this color and it's starting to warm up so now is the time. Alright, the next product I have is the Bare Minerals Original Foundation in the shade Warm Dark. I'm actually wearing it now. I really, so I really like this foundation, okay? I like the coverage that it gives. I like the way it feels. It does not feel too heavy on. However, I am I'm like kind of struggling with this because as you can see like and once I put it on it's not too dark but when I put it on I feel like you know you're supposed to take your brush and rub it around in there for like five seconds to warm the powder up and like buff it around and then you pour it okay let me rewind you take this you open the lid and then you twist the top to open it to where the holes are, but right now it's closed because I'm with powder falling everywhere. And then you take some and you pour it into the lid. And then you take your uh, foundation brush and you buff it around in here for like five seconds to warm the powder up. And then you apply it to your face. But I feel like every time I go to apply it on my face, it's just super thick and like one spot and it's hard to blend it out all over. So maybe I'm using too much powder and I need to just go in with a lighter hand at first. So I'm still, you know, working with this one, but I like this one just for something different because normally I wear liquid foundations because that's my thing. It works better for my skin anyway since I have dry skin. But this one, I I like it. And it's, I like it enough for it to be a, a fave and not a dislike or even like an end product. Like I just like it. And I'm hoping that I can, you know, figure out how to make it work the best. And the next product, this is product number five of my likes. Y'all know I had to feature Miss Laura Mercier's uh, translucent setting powder in the shade medium deep. Y'all, this setting powder, this makes your makeup last so much longer and it also helps it to keep from creasing because I apply this in my smile lines when I'm wearing like liquid foundations and they'll, they'll normally settle in my smile lines. When I wear this, it does not settle in my smile lines and I really like that it's this deeper shade so that when I take pictures with the flash on, you know, I don't get that little flashback. And, you know, it's even helps with foundations that are too light for you like this one. Cause if you watch my video where I tried this on, I applied the setting powder on top of it and it warmed the, the uh, foundation up. So that's another positive about this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. So if you are struggling with your foundations and they're either too light or even you have an issue with creasing and you just want to set your makeup, this is one for you. And I think it's either $36 or $38. It's worth the money. And you see how big this is. Like this will last you forever because this is one ounce. This will last you forever, y'all, unless you're like overusing it. But if you're not, like, definitely get this. And my last favorite is the Juvia's Place Mini Masquerade Palette. And y'all know this is another black owned business and I did a tutorial, or was this part of my, I think I used this in my huge try on haul video as well. Y'all saw the makeup look that I created with this. These colors are so pigmented, so beautiful. I mean, just look at them. And then I just love this, their packaging with these Egyptian queens. Like, I think this is just so amazing. 
And I mean, just look at these colors, y'all. Just get yourself a look at them. Let me get my light. I mean, these are just so freaking pretty. And I know I swatched them, like a few of these shades in a video before, but let me swatch again for you all here. And these are all of the shimmer, not all the shimmers, but these are some of the shimmers that are in the vlogs. So and let me give you a matte shade. And I'm not even really putting a lot on my hand. I'm just lightly going in here. And I mean, I just really just love this palette. Like it's just so amazing. And there you have it. Just a few little swatches for you. Like this palette is just so amazing. I actually am wearing it today as well for this look. So yeah, y'all. This is a palette that is worth the investment and worth the money just for something different. Like I really honestly bought this palette just for this purple right here. It's right here. Let me give y'all a swatch of that one. Like that was literally the only reason I bought this palette because I wanted a really pretty um, great purple eyeshadow and it was in here. These colors, like I said, are super pigmented as you can see. Even though these swatches are not the best swatches because I really was not trying that hard to get these swatches down, but they're easily blendable and easy to apply. And this is what you want, y'all. My hands are just full of swatches. And my last dislike, which again is not like uh, ill completely, but it just didn't work for me. Like it's the Matte Poreless Foundation by Maybelline. I do not like this foundation only because I just don't think, like obviously matte foundations are probably not for people with dry skin, but this one just did not work for me. It made my skin just super dry. And even this shade is cappuccino and which, I feel like they need a shade between cappuccino and a shade between coconut because cappuccino made me look ashy and coconut I feel like had that reddish tint that made it look kind of muddy on my skin tone and cappuccino is 340, coconut is 355. We need something in between like a 347 or something just so we can have something in between. I feel like a shade in between these two would give a person that's my skin tone a perfect match. And so I might try, just even though I don't like this matte formula, I might try to mix this one with coconut just to see what happens with it. But I just don't feel like I should have to mix foundations to get a shade match. Like I feel like brands should make shades that match my skin tone. Like I just feel like that's the way it should be. But unfortunately for women of color, y'all know the struggle is not that easy, so. But that is it for my March favorites and my two eh products. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I will see you back here on Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a subscription box unboxing yet because I have not received one in the mail, but if I ha if I get it by then, because it's clearly it's not Friday that I'm recording this video, but if I get it by the time Sunday comes around, you will have a subscription box. If not, you will have something different. So yes, be on the lookout for that. And like I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that upload when it comes out. And I will see you all next time. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all later.